All right, so we're gonna be pimping our terminal from this to this. So let's get started. Now, most of the time I don't really do much with the terminal. I just leave it running bash and kind of I might install Dracula theme onto it just to match whatever I'm doing right now. But it's been a long time since I actually modified my terminal because we got to a point where we don't use the terminal as much as we used to. So I just usually leave it as blank. We are dealing with GNOME terminal, so it depends on the terminal that you're actually using. And in our case, we're using Ubuntu 24.04 and the GNOME terminal. Now, if you just want to theme it with the color themes and stuff like that, that's fine. You could actually just go over to DraculaTheme.com and look up GNOME and there's GNOME Terminal, and you can actually just copy and paste and it'll actually look like this. It all depends on what you want at the end, but yeah, this gives you instructions on how to install all the color themes for GNOME Terminal. Now, what we're gonna be installing is something called Z Shell, and I actually did a little quick write-up on this on my GitHub, so you could just follow along on this with copy and paste and everything. So let's begin. Now, the first thing we need to do is actually grab ourselves Z Shell. So sudo app install ZSH. And okay, it seemed that I already installed it on this computer, which is fine, but it's not using that right now because we could just echo shell and you could see I'm using bash right now. Now, if you are running GNOME Terminal, uh, all you have to do is go, go into properties, go into preference, and then go into default profile and then head up uh, to command and over here run custom command and you want to run z shell and then you can close out of that and you're using another terminal you might want to use the command called change shell like this dash s for all users and dollar sign parentheses which z shell and then close the parentheses and that will actually change your shell over to being z shell as default but in our case, like I said, we just had to go into the property. So I'm gonna exit out of this. Entering back into the terminal now, it should run and ask you some questions. What you can do is continue to main menu, which is one, and they'll ask you all these other things, or you could just hit two for recommended configuration. So in my case, I'm just gonna hit one and then two. Then I'm gonna hit one to turn on completions with default options, zero and exit, and then we're gonna see what we're looking at. Now there is a file that got newly created, which is called on your home folder. So we could do swiggly line dot Z shell RC. And in here, there's a few things in here. Now it's gonna look pretty blank because we didn't set up a lot of the stuff, but it's okay because we're actually not gonna be using this. Instead, we're gonna be using something called oh my Z shell. To get that installed, I have a command right over here. Instead of trying to figure it out, I'm just gonna grab that, head over to here and then paste this in here. It's gonna install oh my Z shell. Do you wanna change it to your default shell? Yes. And then just password for your user and now we have something that looks similar to like this which looks pretty good now if you do want to theme this they do have a bunch of themes you could just go to oh my z shell wiki themes and let me right click into here and you can see a bunch of themes that you could go for now the one i recommend is actually something called jonathan uh and it looks pretty good it's right here this one jonathan with the lines and everything so i could actually Head into our Z shell, nano.zshrc. And in here, I could actually change a the theme over to Jonathan. Save that. And if I exit this and reopen it again, it should now have our new theme in place. Now we're not going to be using this. I was just showing you if you want to stop here, it's fine because it does have some default themes into oh my Z shell. Now, the next thing why we installed on my Z shell is because of all the plugins. I'm gonna head over to the plugins right over here and you can see there are hundreds, I think 200 plugins right now, or maybe even more that you can add on to your Z shell. Now, there are two that are extremely important, which are must haves. This is the Z shell auto suggestion and the Santex highlighting. So what I'm gonna do now is just copy these two. So I'm gonna copy this, head into the terminal, paste that in here. It's gonna install it in the correct area. And then I'm gonna copy the bottom one as well. And then I'm gonna paste this in here too. And then now that I got everything all pasted in there, I could just clear the screen and nano into the .z shell RC file. Head over to where the plugins are. Now, if you do have a chance, go. you can look through this. Now, so one of the things that I like a lot is the case sensitivity. Like I don't need case sensitivity. So what I mean by if I do just CD downloads, you could see that I'm typing in lowercase, but if I hit tab, it automatically capitalizes it for me. So I don't have to worry about typing in the caps. So anyway, let's head back into editing the shell and I'm gonna go down a little bit 
and you can also enable uh, what is it called correction auto correction I don't recommend this I used to use it but there was a little bit of issue here and there with this I don't really like it all right so you want to navigate down all the way over here to where it says plugins which should be on line 73 and what you want to add in here is ZSH auto suggestions and ZSH syntax highlighting which I have right over here and that will enable the plugins now I'm going to close out of this you can actually just source the file if you want but you can exit and go back in and I'll have all the suggestions now if I was to type something say like CD you see how the last command I had dot dot now it just shows up I could do CD DO and you can see it's starting to type out downloads now I could hit up arrow and auto complete for me and you see the highlighting underneath that's the other plugin. So those two work really well together and I could just hit enter and that's the auto suggestion and also the highlighting for me. Now, if you want to add more plugins that is on the list, it's already in your system. It's already downloaded through that script that ran earlier and we could run all the way down here and say like one of the plugins that I want to run is called history, which I can show you right over here through plugins and I go over here and there's something called there's so many but you could just go down to something called history right over here and it'll show you how it operates like instead of typing the word history you could just type h and it'll just list everything for you so i'm gonna save that exit out of here pop into a terminal and next time if i just type h my history will show up so that's how the plugins work all you have to do is just type in what you want and there's a directory for it right inside oh my z shell right over here so you can actually add your own plugins if you find that, that is not on this list. Now, next up, what we're going to be doing is actually installing a font called Nerd Font. Now, Nerd Font is needed because of all the fonts that we actually don't have, like Font Awesome or the uh, logos and stuff like that. Like these logos, they're going to be in your font when you install this Font Awesome. So you need a patch version of Nerd Fonts in your system. Now, to get that is pretty easy. All you have to do is just head over to nerd fonts or their github which i'm going to be doing and for ubuntu we need the fira mono so we're going to click on that we're going to use regular and we're going to download the otf file and i'm just going to download the raw well download the file here and in my case i'm just going to open the folder right click and open with fonts here you can just hit install and it's going to install this font there you go it's installed and i close this out and if I was to install the new look that I want, which is called the Power Level 10K, you need to find for the Power Level 10K. So I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to head over to the terminal, paste that in there. It's going to get and grab everything that I need. And now what I could do is nano into the Z shell. You see how much easier it is? I could just hit up arrow because it's auto suggestion. It knows what I want. And then in the themes, all I have to do is change this over to power level 10K and power level 10K again, exit this, exit this again. And then when I restart it, it's gonna ask me a bunch of questions, which is really cool. So now I got these questions and it's gonna see if I could see this. Now without font awesome or without the nerd font, this would not show up. This would actually be a, like a weird character that you don't normally see. It's asking you questions. Does it look like a diamond? Yes. Does this look like a lock? Yes. Does this look like an upwards arrow? Yes. Is the digit on downward arrow pointing to one? Yes. It's pointing to one because it needs to know the spacing. And for this, the icons are very close to the cross, but they're not overlapping, which crosses are overlapping. You would do N for that. And then now you could choose your theme. Now I like the colorful themes. I'm going to choose rainbow. I'm going to do three. Uh, since we do have Unicode now, uh, we could do one. And depending on the hour format, because I use 12 hour format, so we're gonna use one. And then the separator, do I like it angled like this? And I do, so I'm just gonna keep it as one. And do I want it flat or do I want it blurred or do I want it round over here? So I like the blur, so I'm gonna use two. And then the front, do I want it blurred or do I not want it blurred? Like you could, there's so many options that you could choose. And I do like the blur, so I'm gonna use two. And I'm also a huge fan of this line, so I'm gonna use two. Do I want it dotted in the middle uh, or a solid line? I like the solid line, so I'm going to choose three. And on the bottom, I like the full version because it goes forward and back. So I'm going to do four. And this is how you want it. Do you want it light, dark, or whatever? I'm going to use the lightest. And I like it kind of sparse, so I'm going to use two. 
and do you want many icons i like many icons so i'm going to use many icons and i want uh let's see fluent i can't see so i'm going to make this bigger hmm i like concise and this is how you would like to make it look like when you type so i like it like this like the original so i'm just going to keep yes for the top and i'm going to use verbose and apply changes yes and there we have it now we have our new theme with all this like stuff over here so if i type ls it's going to do that cd downloads it's going to do that and i go ls and now i can see my ubuntu logo a little folder icon the check mark what's really cool is if i run like a longer command so if i do find mm, let's do root actually let's do sudo find root pipe that into grep and we're going to look for z shell enter it's going to ask me for password there you go it's going to look for everything that says z shell and this command takes like a few seconds to run and there you go it actually shows it's completed no errors and it took nine seconds to run that command so that's what i really like so if i'm running a command like app get or something like that or i'm compiling something it'll actually give me the total time i got my clock and what folder i'm in so i really enjoy using z shell for this now sometimes if you don't see the fonts or you miss something you do need something called the parallel 9k mode nerd font complete which tells it that you can use the font but because of the new settings i think it injects that already so it knows that you're able to use these little fancy icons all in all once you're done this is how it will look you got this little cool thing i'm going to clear the screen for this you can see what folder you're in you have all this cool stuff operation time and it's a lot easier to use the shell if you're the type to use the shell a lot and this does work in terminal like it doesn't actually need like gnome terminal you could use a different terminal to get all this working because ultimately it's just the shell that you're working with anyway that is it for me guys if you guys have any questions about this hit me up down in the comments below if you guys are new to this channel consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out and as i say in my nerd cave hack till it hurts